Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I have my spring 2019 cause box. It finally came. Actually, not finally. I got this one pretty quickly. But we will see what I think of this one. I did my winter cause box unboxing on my channel as well and I will link that above me. And I was... I was kind of disappointed in that one. It was a real bummer uh, and I have not, I can honestly say I have not found an occasion to use anything from that box. Um, there were a few items that were fairly decent. It had a really nice poncho in it that was just the, the softest material I've felt in a very long time and it had a nice weight to it and I have that in my stash to gift to somebody at some point down the line. I zoomed you out of it. And I have the poncho, it's in a gift pile, and I haven't really had occasion to use anything else. There was a planner in there that's really nice, and if I was a person who used planners, that would have been really excellent. Anyway, so I linked that above me, and you can go check that one out, and in that video, I recommended not subscribing in that quarter and waiting until the spring box came out. So we'll see if I would recommend subscribing this quarter. Okay, so before I tear into this, let me show you what it looks like. The box is really cute. The box is always really cute. Um, and now I was really impressed with the fall box. I will link the fall unboxing above me here and go check out my other videos while you're at it. Um, but yeah, I did a fall unboxing. I really liked that box. I was very impressed. It was my first cause box. And Cosbox is quarterly, it's about $50 a quarter. With Cosbox, with every single product they put into their boxes, there's some sort of charitable handshake with that company. Um, so that is really inspirational. I've started to realize that I think that I would rather just donate money to organizations rather than gamble on a box like this, hoping that I will like what has been put into it. Um, so we'll see what I think of this one. So it always comes with a little pamphlet that is really, really well made, and it has um, descriptions of everything that is included in the box, and it talks about what the charitable handshake, as I put it a little bit ago, what kind of chari charity work the company that they partnered with does. So the, the first thing they have is, is this, it's called vegan leather, which vegan leather is just polyurethane pleather. It's just the same fake leather we've known all along. It's just, you know, marketing companies are really, really smart. Um, so it's vegan leather though. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. I'm having trouble figuring out how close I wanna be to the camera in this video. Um, anyway, so this actually, it feels really high quality. Let's see what the details are on this. What it retails for actually is what I'm looking for. Okay, so I thought that they usually had prices in this, but I couldn't find it, so I had to bring it up on my computer. So this vegan leather polyurethane pleather, um, which is fine, I just, it's, people seem to get so excited about the vegan leather thing, and it's like, same old pleather that we've always been getting. Anyway, so this is valued at $120, and it feels very, very nice, high quality. I am actually, um, I am in management and I honestly this does look like something that could be quite useful for me for work. Uh, it has plenty of pockets. It has a pocket here. I actually kind of, let's see if my laptop fits in it. My laptop fits. That's actually huge. Okay, I could use this for work and look, feel very, I, I like this. I, I do like this quite a bit. Um, that would be very nice to take it to meetings. Right now I use this, which I got for like $16 on Amazon and it's just a laptop carrying case, one of those padded ones. So this will, excuse me, make me look a little bit more sophisticated, I think. So I like this, I like this a lot. First thing is a big win. And then the rest um, of the stuff looks like cute and cozy in the box. 
You know, and in my fall box, I got really into reading about what each of the charitable causes were with each product. I don't think that viewers so much appreciated that. I think they wanted to just see more of what the actual product was. This 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 portfolio is about um, a company that wanted to uh, bring fat. Femininity, style and femininity into the women's casual, business casual fashion world. And it's, it's about women's empowerment and finding the best materials for vegan leather. I'm going to steer clear of reading the charitable stuff. I'm just going to show you what's in here. Uh, okay, so the next thing is this wild... Konjac facial cleansing sponge, which I've never tried Konjac before and I've seen it everywhere So I am excited to try this infused with French pink clay and uh, It looks Like this it Doesn't and it has this kind of It has like a string it's a string. That's okay, though. Let's see what the um, retail on this is Sixteen dollars and ninety cents. Um, it doesn't smell like anything. It smells like nothing, really. I've heard Konjac is really good. So a little bit about Konjac. Konjac, also known as glucomanon, is an herb that grows in parts of Asia. It's known for its starchy corm. Corm, C O R M. I don't know that word. A tuber-like part of the stem that, oh, that grows underground. Okay, it explains what that is. A tuber-like part of the ground stem that grows underground. The corm is used to make a rich source of soluble di dietary fiber. Conjact is used as a gelatin substitute and to thicken or add texture to foods. It is also used in traditional Chinese medicine. In the Western world, Conjact is best known as a dietary supplement for weight loss and cholesterol management. Conjact and skin health. Uh, Konjac can reduce acne and improve the health of skin. It's thought to reduce allergic response and improve wound healing. Okay, the next thing is... I'm going to get this one over with because this one kind of bothers me. It's a postcard. It comes in every single box. It's designed by an artist specifically for the box. And they say that this is valued at $10. That bothers me. Next thing is... Um, this is by Cosmetics. It's a glow bamboo brightening mask. Never heard of bamboo in a brightening mask. Okay, so this is a face mask. This one is valued at $54. And it is, what, how big is it? 2.6 ounces, so it's not huge. Um, and it looks like that. Let's see, it's sealed. It helps remove dead surface cells for optimal absorption of brightening ingredients that help reduce the experience of discoloration on even skin tone and roughness for visibly smoother, brighter, and luminous looking skin. Bamboo stem extract helps to exfoliate, it says. So it's an exfoliating mask. Okay, that's nice. I love masks. I do. Um, so that's $54. That's the retail price for that. Uh, the next thing is this um, Mist Congeniality Rose Water Hydra Mist. I do like Hydra Mists. I use, I keep a mist by my bed every morning so that I can spray myself in the face. It helps me to wake up. Um, so, see how it smells. It's rose. Let's just spray it. Rose is so popular. <laughs> okay, especially for these sprays. Let's see. Oh, this retails for $22. So, mm. it's got a very, um, I like more of a mist. It's got more of a harsh spray than I want. And not terribly harsh, but I like like a mist, like a gentle spritz. And this is kind of like a spray. It's got witch hazel, aloe leaf, glycerin, chamomile flower extract. It's got a little bit of salicylic acid in it, but it's like the last ingredient. This delicate mist provides immediate hydration while improving overall skin tone. Rose, aloe, and chamomile work synergistically to assist the healing process of the skin. Perfect for all skin types. Mist congeniality generates skin plumping moisture for, for revived and glowing skin. I have a... Uh, 
Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist, and I've been using that lately. That one is really, really nice. It's a Tati recommended product. I love it, and she was right, and I'm so happy that I noticed she uh, raved about that. And uh, this doesn't, this, I, the spray is, the way it sprays is so important, and this one has a little bit more of a spray than a mist. Uh, than I like, especially now that I'm using that pixie one. That one has a really nice mist. So let's see, this one is a charm bracelet. It is by Marina Debucci, and it has a little key on it. This says it retails for $37. I find that the jewelry in these boxes can be very, very disappointing, especially at the retail prices. Okay, it's better quality than the necklace we got in the winter box. And it's gold, it's got the little key, and it's called Unlock Your Dreams is kind of the theme of the bracelet. I was very disappointed in the necklace in the winter cause box. It was terribly cheap. And I think they said it retailed for $32 or something like that. Okay, so this is the spread on the bracelets. Every product has a spread like this in this in this pamphlet, oh, this one, uh, Campaigns Against Human Trafficking, this company. Doesn't talk about the materials this is made of. We would love you to use your bracelet to wait, raise awareness and speak on behalf of those who cannot speak for themselves. Together we can change the world. Our mission is to fight human trafficking by choosing this bracelet. You are contributing to set victims free. See, that's, that's what attracted me to Cosbox in the first place, and um, that, that's awesome. I, I think that this is a better material. I don't know, it feels sturdier, but what I've found is a lot of times these, these jewelry pieces in these boxes are just brass, like gold or silver plated brass. Well, the next thing is there is this scarf, and this is um, supposed to retail for $52. And it's a silky scarf, not a silk scarf, a silky scarf. So I can get some sort of polyester. Um, yeah, that definitely feels like it's a polyester. So this is pretty. And I could probably use it to wrap my hair to sleep in or something. Okay, this was one of the customizable items. The first thing I opened, you could pick from different colors. And it was uh, light pink, white, or black. And then for the scarf, you could have gotten, you could have gotten um, the orange with polka dots or the blue with orange stripes or the rose colored one with flowers that I got. And then also you had a choice for the bracelet. You could have either gotten the one with the key or you could have gotten one with moon and stars on it like this. Next is, and I'm excited for this. this this retails for $15 and it is the Etitude Bamboo Lyocell uh, Sleeping Mask. And I thought about getting this in the last FabFitFun sale, so I did, and I didn't, so it's a good thing that I didn't, and I now have one. I really am sensitive to light when I sleep, and sometimes I feel like this would be really, really useful. So now I have one. That's, that's nice. Um, okay, and then this is the last thing, and this retails for $15, and it is a macrame um, plant hanger. Plant, or I guess you could hang a bowl and keep things in it. Uh, let me see. It's, so it's, it's like this. It feels, it feels well made and good quality. Let's see if I can get a picture of it actually doing something in here. Yeah, so it's this. It's that. Which is nice. I have a hook in my kitchen that I could put a plant in or a bowl of fruit. I actually kind of like that bowl of fruit idea. Um, so that's it. So to recap, I got this. Um, I got the rose water mist spray. I got this, which is good. I will use that. I got this this postcard, which I already expressed to you how I feel. I, they say it's worth 10 bucks. Whatever. No thanks. I got this little bracelet that has a key on it that seems like it's slightly better quality. I couldn't find what material it's made of in the in the pamphlet or on the packaging of the bracelet. 
It's probably brass. It's probably gold-plated brass. That seems to be the MO for these boxes. I got this Konjac facial sponge. I don't know. We'll see how what I... I'll try it. I'll, I'll, I do reviews of everything, or not everything, but most things that I get in these boxes or products that I get in my channel as well. So if you stay tuned, think about subscribing. Uh, stay tuned, and I will let you know what I think of these things hopefully soon. And then I got this mask, which I love masks. We'll see how I, what I think of that. I got this scarf. I'm not too sure which I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with. Let's just do that for now, I guess. <laughs> and then this, which I think I actually will really put to use. This, and it, it does feel well made. The stitching looks well done. I, it has all kinds of pockets in here for going to meetings. It even has a pocket on the outside. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about this one. And this is the big ticket item in the box too. So would I recommend getting this? If you are a business lady like myself, you might find this to be really nice. It's got a nice weight to it. It feels really good. The vegan leather that it's made out of is, is, feels like a good material. I am not feeling as disappointed as I was with the winter box. It's better than the winter box for sure. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, think about checking out my other videos. I have a giveaway going on right now, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.